I made an EMP device that can jam electronics. The way this works is that most modern electronic circuits operate within a specific frequency range. When you produce a sufficiently strong electromagnetic pulse, you can disrupt this frequency causing interferences and damage in a circuit. I made a video a little over a year ago on how this works in greater detail, so if you want to go check that out it's on my channel, and also be sure to subscribe for all my future videos. There are several methods you can use to achieve this effect. In my device, a small lithium polymer battery is wired to a safety switch, which then delivers the battery's current to a recharging circuit. The negative end of the recharging circuit then outputs to a trigger switch. When this trigger is pressed, it sends current to the high voltage transformer. This transformer takes the tiny 3.7 volts from the lithium battery and turns it into a much more appropriate voltage of over 10,000. Finally, that voltage is sent across a spark gap, which is placed there to prevent damage, and then into a copper wire coil, which emits the electromagnetic pulse. I designed the case and then printed it on a MarkForge 3D printer. I'll leave the STL file for that case in the description below. If any of you plan on making one, any old 3D printer will do. And it, you don't even have to use this case, you can design it however you want. At the end of the day, it really is just a simple box. Then I laser cut and engraved a cover out of acrylic. I wanted to be able to see all the components from the top view. And I also put in threaded heat set inserts with a soldering iron should I ever need to remove the cover. Unfortunately, my sizing for the holes for the inserts was off, so I actually had to go back, redesign the case, and then print it again. But the second time around, it ended up fitting much better. After that, all that really remained was for me to place all the electronics inside and solder all the wires together. I tested my finished EMP device on some calculators, as well as various other electronics that I didn't care for lying around. The reason that my phone is unaffected by this electromagnetic pulse is because frankly the device isn't that particularly strong. Its effective range is about a couple inches at best, and this is partially intentional to avoid any accidents. Although that's not to say that I'm opposed to creating a considerably stronger one in the future. The effects of the EMP have so far only been observed as temporary. And my favorite one is with my broken multimeter. When holding the jammer at a certain angle, I can see voltage readings induced by the coil, and then holding it over the screen just causes the whole thing to reset. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe as I soon will be uploading more regularly again.